Hey, what's going on everybody? Donkey here and welcome back to another wonderful episode of Donkey Tries. It's where I take a game I know absolutely jack shit about and play it for about 15 to 30 minutes predicated on how long I can fucking stand it. Um, no, all kidding aside, yeah, basically uh, the whole concept is I take a game, I don't know anything about it, I play it, I found some hidden gems and I've found some real stinkers out there. And as I go through, it's kind of like a pre-review type thing. It gives me an idea, number one, if I want to continue playing the game, and two, if it's something that you might enjoy. At the end of the video, I'll kind of recap uh, everything that I experienced through that 15 to 30 minutes of gameplay, and I'll let you know if it's something I'll continue to play or not. So anything. anyway, with that said, let's uh, check out Counter Spy. Let's, uh, first thing we do is go down to Options check out the uh, settings I don't do inverted axis for the most part uh, leave everything alone there online account uh, we're not gonna do online account it's been getting game once upon a time two cold war foes faced off in an epic space rage to develop the biggest pointiest most atomic missiles of destruction known to civilization Alright. The Imperialist States versus the Socialist Republic. Sworn enemies determined to be the first superpower to launch a successful nuclear strike on the moon. Alright. Okay, enough of my attempt at William Shatner. Um Please confirm that you have reached atomic atomage atomage grade thirteen. Um, transmitting from behind the Iron Curtain counter. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to read all this shit. I don't mind text in game. I just don't like lengthy text. I get it's necessary to establish a story, but... Uh, Sometimes a lot of text will wear me the fuck out, to be honest. So I'm not sure if this is this a shooter, a side scroller. I guess we're about to find out. All right. Okay. So side scrolling. Whoa. Look at the Spidey jump, man. Jesus Christ. All right, let me check out the buttons. Square doesn't do shit. O doesn't... Okay, O is dodge. Interesting art style. I'll give it that. Um, so X is jump. Dun, dun, dun. Got the pink panther walker. Got to strip my shit. Eh, 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 eh. All right. What? Press X to jump and grab a ledge. Oh, shit. All right, so L2 is aim. And then, of course, you use the right thumbstick to move your gun up and down. Oh, R1 and R2 fires as I'm using ammo. All right, cool. This actually isn't half bad so far. Not what I expected, but that's the cool thing about these games. You never know what to expect. So the footsteps are a little bit off the sound as far as when we're walking. You've noticed like... Yeah, it seems like its sound is definitely behind. It's taken a step and a half to three quarters or so before it kicks in. All right, press O to take cover behind objects. I got to get out of this William Shatner. Oh, shit. I don't think so. Actually, I was not too bad. I got to reload my secret weapon. I got you secret weapon, baby. All right. Nuclear tab computer search. What do, what do I want to search? Maybe I want to shoot some more shit. I like this. A little duck and cover. All right. Let's go on down here and search the supercomputer. Or not. 
Well done, Agent. Stealing the enemy's plans is critical to your mission. Keep going and find more computers. All right. We'll try to lose the William Shatner. It's like once you get into that groove. Get into that groove. Press X to jump and grab a ledge. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, you didn't know? Press triangle to use medical cabinets when your health is low. But our health isn't low. So we don't need that shit. Moving along. Can we sneak up on the dude? Hold on. Ah, here you go. We can. We can. So stealth. Lightly press the left stick to the right and sneak up undetected behind the guard. Then press square to quietly neutralize him. Let's see if we can do this. How you doing? Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Hey, so far so good. Um, gameplay seems to be pretty solid. I like the uh, three-dimensional duck and shoot aspect of the game. Music sounds pretty good. All right. It's, what the? F what? Danger. The guard is using a radio to raise DEFCON level. Take him down before he raises the DEFCON level any further. So how the hell do I do that? Oh. That's how we do that. <laughs> Watch out for events that raise a de base DEFCON. If it gets too high, a launch countdown begins. If this happens, get to the DEFCON launch control at the end of the level before time runs out. Is there anything down here? I think the whole thing was maybe to get back here and uh, shoot him, but uh, we didn't take that approach, now did we? I like that. It gave us uh, the opportunity to do a couple of different things. So we stole a report. Yeah, we could have approached that, that area a couple of different ways, which is nice. I like that. I like the games being diverse, providing different options. That is such a plus. Such a plus. Let's see. Safes. To pull open the safe, press triangle to place explosive charges. I'm glad we didn't have to move away. I guess they weren't that powerful. All right. Weapon blueprint fragment diplomatic pistol. Okay. So stolen blueprints are used by counter to develop advanced weaponry. Complete sets to unlock new lethal weapons. See, this is that's so cool. The fact that we're able to get... I love to get blueprints. I'm so excited I can't even talk. To be able to get blueprints in a game or something like this just adds so much more to it. So it's, that's awesome. Okay, security cameras raise the DEFCON level when a threat is spotted. Avoid the camera's visibility. Wait, whoa, I wasn't done reading. So I assume that's how we do that. Oh, and there's another one. You know, surprisingly, that's really smooth. To be able to do that. That's, okay, so we got three out of five. Never shoot an officer. Okay. Why not? When he is the only enemy remaining, he will surrender. Aim your weapon at the surrendering officer and he will lower the DEFCON level. Uh, okay. Never shoot it. So we're at DEFCON 4. Can, so what do we do with him? Can I take him out? Can't take him out. There's another. Hopefully he doesn't get back up. He's still down. So we can either take the elevator. Yeah, I wish we could tie the guy up. Oh. Can we go back through the door? Let's see, is he still here? Oh, he's gone. Where the hell did he go? Combat. Press square when facing a guard at close range to deliver a lethal knife hand strike. Okay. Well, that's what we did earlier. Alright. Nice. Now, we were above earlier. <laughs> he 
He's dead. Got the bitch be good bullet. Health is good. Oh, another safe. Damn, I wish he'd back off from those safes. Formulas enhance your spy's ability. Complete formula research to unlock enhancements. See, more, more upgrades. This is really cool. Okay, is there a... Uh, let me hear. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so hitting the option button on the uh, PS4 controller. That's interesting. Doesn't do anything. Maybe we have we have a home base or something. I, I'm not really sure. So let's go back up. Still not sure where that guy went to. The officer. All right, and down we go. Hmm. So we have three over there. Oh shit, I missed. Not too bad, got hit once. Oh, I could have hit that. Look back here on the, the back side. Looks like there's two fire containers and I totally missed that. Alright, so let's go over here. Can I... Can we not shoot that? So that's cool. Like, if you look at the little laser, see how it's orange? When it lines up, the tip will turn red. And then probably about an inch or so, at least on my screen, will turn red, which indicates, hey, you can fire at that. Now, how about this? No. That would have been really cool if we were able to access the ducting. Oh. Holy shit, we can. Oh, my God. So which way do we go? There's some path there. And then we have... This over here. Oh my god, what is this good work agent? Now I get to DEF CON. I don't want to do this yet. Let's go check out see what's over here. I have no earthly idea where the hell we're going. That toilet. Oh, another another safe. I'm glad we came over here. There's a chemical on the side of it, so let's see what this says. Formula page one of two. Okay. And back we go. I love the music, too. It has that little Pink Panther-esque That's what I'm talking about. So, let's see. I'm kind of curious. Boom! Not like that uh, distracted anybody. Okay, so... You can see over to the right, there's an icon that's popping up. I wonder if the guy is... Um, oh, three. Maybe it's just indicating how many people are on screen. Shit! Bye-bye. Blow the safe up while we're at it. Oh shit! Come on, dude. Oh no. Oh my god, I died. Oh, I died. I didn't think I was gonna die. Defcon level raise. So maybe. Let's try this. Boom. Blow that ass up. So it, did, it didn't restart me over. And down he goes. Oops. Shoot that. Looks like there's a ladder that goes there. Let's see what's over here. I'm actually really enjoying this. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't realize that was going to do the mission complete. Oh, no. 
I want to go down that ladder. Well, crap. Well, the mission was a success, which is really, really, really cool. Secret plans. So I found, what, all the plans? There had to have been something else down that ladder. I mean, come on. So let's talk. Let's talk about the game. I, I really didn't know what to expect. I don't go into a lot of these games expecting a lot because, you know, it's when I see them, I'm like, eh, okay, probably something. You know, I just I really will not play. This I can say I will definitely play. This is fun. I would play this on the console. I would play it on a, a mobile app. It's it's an actually it's very well done. Um, yeah, I mean the sound was a little bit off on the footsteps, but aside from that, I like the music. I thought they did a really good job with the type of music. You have that spy detective. I'd say Mr. Bean, <laughs> but you know you have the, like the Pink Panther uh, type uh, of music. Um, 007, you know, it's 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 all right. It's not too shabby. The the game controls, I thought they were a little loose at first, but uh, they actually work. Uh, I love the whole duck and cover type uh, shooting. Kind of gives you that. Um, I don't want to say. I hate using this as a because it's the first thing that comes to mind. It's Gears of War. I hate saying that because it's definitely not Gears of War, but when you duck behind an object or a box, it'll, it gives you that, that over-the-shoulder um, ducking, shooting mechanic, which is very reminiscent. And not only that game, but like the Uncharted games do it. Um, I believe even Tomb Raider probably does it these days. And it's just there are several games that have implemented that style. But I like that. You're playing a side-scroller game, and it gives you that, that 3D aspect of being able I guess we could call it more of a 2D if you will but uh, the over the shoulder duck and shoot from behind cover mechanic so that's really cool the fact that there are blueprints in the game that uh, you could do upgrades to I think are really neat I mean it's very clear that you you have um, a goal and that goal is to get from point A to point B and you know complete the mission um, the enemies weren't too difficult. I don't know if there was a difficulty setting to, to raise or lower the difficulty, but I felt they were just fine. It actually kind of makes the game a little bit more fun to where I died. I did die, but it didn't like restart everything I needed to do. It, it started that level over, but as far as any plans or any type of blueprints that I found, it didn't erase that aspect of it. I still maintain that progression. So that was that was really neat. Um, I mean, the graphics for a side school are not too bad. I mean, it's not going to blow you away by any means, but uh, definitely fun. Definitely fun. So a pleasant surprise. Very pleasant. So anyway, let me know uh, what you guys think. If you've played the game, let me know your thoughts on it. If you haven't played the game and you watched the video, let me know what uh, you think about the, the game and my gameplay. Um, leave some comments in the comment field below. Make sure to hit that like button for me if you like the video. And by all means, feel free to share. I can't emphasize this enough. If you share the videos, it actually does me a lot more good than actually liking it, in my opinion. I mean, sharing it and getting the, the, the video out there is probably the best thing that any one of you could do. So with that said, until the next episode of Donkey Tries, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. You guys take care and have a good weekend.